Hello, my name is Hannah Brewer and I will be presenting my portfolio to you today. Uh, this is my portfolio here. It's very basic, black. In it I have my list of documents. I have a headshot and then I have a notepad uh, for me to take notes on during an interview. So the first document in my portfolio is my resume, of course. Um, at the top of my resume, I have my name and contact info. I have my personal statement, which kind of lets employers know uh, what my goal is at the time and what my long-term goal is as well. I have my education listed first um, with my most recent university, North Carolina Central University. Below it, I have my uh, community college where I graduated in 2016 um, and I have some things included underneath my education for North Carolina Central University I have my major my concentration and then um, also my GPA since I, I earned a 4.0 last semester I included that on my resume something to be proud of I also have that I'm a member of the Honor Society um, to let employers know that I am involved on campus um, and in academics. Underneath my education, I have work experience. Uh, I have the restaurant where I've worked since 2012, and I have all the lists of um, jobs and positions I've taken on while working there. I have server, caterer, and trainer. Um, I listed server at the top because I, I um, am a server to the present day. I also cater events and then I have trainer listed at the bottom because I helped open locations um, in the past. So this isn't something that I'm currently doing. That's why I have it listed server, cater, and then trainer last. And then at the very bottom of my resume I have my volunteer experiences. Um, that includes my uh, volunteering with the Interfaith Food Shuttle as a classroom assistant for their Cooking Matters program. I have the uh, date I did that, 2017, and then I also have SEEDS. It's a nonprofit organization that I volunteered with last fall. Um, I have that listed there as well with my um, job descriptions under each. It's just one page since my education and work experience is still in the making. And then um, also included in my portfolio, here I have a little pocket for it, is a headshot. Um, I thought this was a unique way to kind of um, advertise my headshot. My boyfriend got me a Polaroid camera for Christmas and um, I decided to take advantage of it and use it for the headshot required for this assignment. So I have two other documents in my portfolio currently. I have my list of references. There are five of them. I have uh, one personal reference on the back side, my number five. I have two work references, the owner of my restaurant, the GM of my restaurant where I work, um, the chef educator at one of the volunteer programs I volunteered with last year, and then the director of my um, program at school and for each reference I have listed their name their job description their their phone number a contact email where they work an address for where they work and a phone number for their work location as well and then the last and final document I have in my portfolio on hand is my transcript and my transcript here has all of my transferring credits from the community college um, where I earned my associate's degree it says that I have 60 credits that transferred over here and then um, it also has my academic standing from the university as of last semester and as of right now, I have a 4.0. I earned all A's. So that is something um, worthy of sharing with employers. It shows that I'm hardworking and serious about my education and the field that I am in. 
And that is all for my portfolio at this time. Thank you very much.